I used as many of the real looks as I could from real photos of the real Runaways and the real Cherie Curry. And I'm going to show you how to replicate that look. So we're going to apply the copper star powder all the way to the inner corner. And then I stop a little bit shy of the outer corner. We take the Aqua Eyes Eyeliner and we're just going to apply to the lash line. And remember what's our first rule of applying eyeliner is get it as close to the lash line as you humanly possibly can. So our third step would be to smudge the aqua liner. You don't have to do this. I always like a more fluid blended look to my smoky eye. We're taking an eyeshadow in a really, really deep blue. You want to tap your brush, get rid of any excess so it doesn't wind up underneath your eye. And now I'm going to work in the outer corner. I like to use this brush. It's really small and flat. It holds the pigment really well. I'm going to drag it just into the crease very lightly. This shouldn't be too heavy. I'm going to take my brush, take all the shadow off of it, and I'm just going to blend that line just ever so slightly. I'm going to do a little extra accoutrement that I like to do. Tap my brush. I'm going to just blend that same blue color that we used to blend it out and make it smoky. So we follow through with curling our lashes, very important step. We're ready for our smoky lash in black because it accentuates your eye. Again, like I said, we want to go up and out to elongate the eye. So here we have one of my favorite looks from the movie The Runaways is Dakota Fanning as Cherie Curry. I hope you like it. I'm Robin Matthews, makeup department head for The Runaways, and I love Makeup Forever.